Warning Signs – The Mystery Behind Yellowstone's Big Explosion The ground at Yellowstone has always held secrets, hidden beneath layers of rock, water, and fire. For decades, scientists have watched the restless supervolcano one of the most powerful on Earth waiting for, the faintest signal that something deep below is stirring. Then came the big explosion. Unlike the predictable bursts of Old Faithful or the boiling churning of the hot springs, this blast was sudden, violent, and alarming. Tourists scattered as a massive geyser roared to life, throwing scalding water and ash high into the air. But what made this eruption different? Why now? And most importantly, was this an isolated event or a warning? Beneath Yellowstone lies a colossal chamber of magma, a molten reservoir the size of several mountain ranges. Scientists know that every geyser eruption is a surface response to the intense pressure building below. Hot water, trapped in fractures and chambers, is superheated by magma until it flashes into steam, forcing its way out with explosive force. Normally, this is part of Yellowstone's daily rhythm. But when the explosions grow bigger, louder, and less predictable, geologists begin to worry. In the days leading up to the blast, subtle signs hinted at a brewing disturbance. Tiny earthquakes rippled through the caldera, almost too small for visitors to feel, but clearly detected by seismic instruments. Satellite data showed slight swelling of the ground, a classic signal of underground magma movement. Hydrothermal pools, once calm, became turbulent, bubbling more violently than before. To the untrained eye, these changes seemed minor but to volcanologists, they painted a picture of mounting instability. The explosion itself was not a supervolcano eruption, nothing on that catastrophic scale. Instead, it was a hydrothermal blast, a violent steam-driven explosion triggered when underground water suddenly heated past the breaking point. These events can carve craters, launch boulders the size of cars, and release energy equivalent to small bombs. While localized, they remind scientists of Yellowstone's volatile nature, where water, heat, and pressure are constantly locked in a dangerous dance. The real mystery is whether such explosions are isolated accidents, or if they are signals of a deeper system shifting beneath the park. Could they be precursors, stepping stones toward a larger volcanic event, or are they simply Yellowstone's way of releasing pressure in bursts, preventing something worse? For now, researchers continue to study every tremor, every tilt of the ground, every surge in heat and gas. The big explosion has sparked urgency, reminding the world that Yellowstone is alive, restless. An unpredictable dot as scientists sift through the data. The question lingers in the air like steam above a boiling spring. Are these just natural fireworks? or the first whispers of something far greater, waiting in the shadows of Earth's most powerful volcano?